Have you tried the orange chicken at Panda Express? Well, guess what? We're here today at the Panda headquarters to interview Mr. Jimmy Wang, who is the Director of Culinary Innovation for Panda Express. I'm Karen. I'm Karen. And I'm Sean. We are like Yaya Kids Jr. and Jr. is here to see what he has to say about Panda Restaurant Group. So today I'm here with Mr. Jimmy Wang, um, who is the Director of Culinary Innovations for Panda Express. So Mr. Wang, can you tell us a little bit about Panda and your job? Sure. Uh, well, hello. My name is Jimmy Wang. I'm the Director of Culinary Innovation for Panda Restaurant Group. Uh, my job on a daily basis is to innovate, uh, to create, and also to continue to con grow the brand as our one of the most beloved American Chinese cuisine. And on the day, daily basis, I do spend a lot of time cooking with different recipes. We also evaluate a lot of different food, uh, different uh, proteins, different vegetables. And most important part is we want to evaluate these products so that one day we can deliver to our audience and customers. So what skills did you learn in culinary school that apply to most to be your job now? I think what I learned in culinary school was information, right? it's knowledge. Uh, one of the most important thing is when somebody point out a piece of vegetable, you know what, you want to know the name, right? And then that's what a school does for you, is to help you identify the necessary information for you to start your career. What do you enjoy most when working? What do I enjoy most? Um, I enjoy the intensity of uh, being in the kitchen. I like the fact that I am pacing up and down in the kitchen. I like the fire, I like the sweat. I like the sound, you know, when you turn on the flame, when you hear pots and pans uh, banging against each other. Those kind of noises excite me. How do you address the issue of nutrition and health in your own way of cooking? Wow, uh, that's, a, that's a good one. Um, how do I address the nutritional aspect? I think what we are trying to do right now is to make it more balanced. Um, for most of the American diets, um, usually it consists heavy on the protein. And in my time being with Panda, we've been trying to shift that. We've been trying to incorporate more vegetable, more varieties, and certainly bring to almost a 50-50 balance. So from what I've seen, Panda serves ex um, westernized Chinese food. So is it hard to get like customers to try new foods that they've never been introduced to before? Yeah, um, you know, when, when people are shy from something they don't know, right? Um, so what we wanted to do is slowly incorporating these secret ingredients, right? Something that they're not familiar with, but not so much directly presented in front of them, but hidden within something. So, you know, we could hit a special Chinese ingredient in the sauce. We could certainly uh, hit it within the coating of a crispy chicken. Um, you know, but most of the time what we do is we really market study. So what we did was we took a certain ingredient, we took the certain dish, we presented to multiple markets, actually get some feedback from them first to see how likely will they purchase this dish. And once the numbers come back and the study shows that it is absolutely safe, that's when we put the idea together and really put it in on our menu. What's your favorite dish in Panda? Ooh, my favorite dish in Panda. I have to say still Kung Pao chicken. You know, I like spicy food. I like food that has a lot of flavor. Um, it's still one of the best dish uh, here, to me at least. How, how do you balance work and family? Ooh, that's another good one. Balance life and work. Um, you know, to tell you the truth, um, when I started my career, um, I was away from my home a lot. Um, certainly hours between 14 to 16 hours a day. I think what you wanted to do is to make sure the moment you spend with your family are absolutely focused on them, right? So if you are able to spend two hours with them, if it's a complete dedicated two hours to them, that's quality time. I would rather have two hours dedicated to them than eight hours of kind of half work, half on them, that type of deal. Do you ever dream to be on CHOP or other shows made by the Food Network? You know, I didn't dream about it. I was actually on those shows. Um, so I had the privilege to work with Food Network a couple years back. I was on CHOP. I was also on uh, Cutthroat Kitchen. 
Um, it was a great experience. Uh, it was something new and different. I had an opportunity to work with camera crews, different competitors, and then also get to show everybody what I cook. Unfortunately, I didn't win. Uh, it is still a competition, right? So somebody will win, somebody will lose. But I thought it was a good, good, fun learning experience because I never know what that's like. So I was able to get on it and I learned it and then I enjoyed every minute of it. So if your food was to be criticized by like um, a customer, how would you handle the situation? How would I handle it when they don't like the food? Um, well, you know, the, the, the truth is not everybody's going to like your food, right? You're going to make food for majority of people, but there are times that majority of people don't like the food you make. And that is absolutely okay because that's your personal opinion. It doesn't stop me from being doing the best I can. As long as I know I put out the best food I can, that I'm capable, and if you don't like it, that's completely fine because there's something else on the menu you must like. So that's okay. Do you have any accomplishments that you're proud of? What and why? Accomplishment. Hmm. Well, this this is considered one of the accomplishments. I've never been interviewed uh, with the younger kids before, young reporters. Um, but if I had to pick one significant one, um, I would have to say started my own restaurant. I thought that was a pivotal point of my career. Uh, I was young. I was very uh, hot-headed. Um, but... I was also, I also had a drive. I wanted to do something on my own. I wanted to present something that I believed in. And I had the privilege to have my own business, my own restaurant for seven years. And then uh, eventually came to the end, but I never have any regrets. It was the best seven years of my life. Do you ever want your kids to follow your footsteps? You know, I, I don't know if I want or don't want. I can say that if they show interest, I will definitely help them um, because I, I think that's a privilege of being their father. Um, but if they do speak out about, you know, they want to be a chef someday, I will show them the way. You know, I will show them the way and I will tell them how to get there. And it's still up to them to accomplish that goal. So what plans do you have for Panda in the future? Panda in the future, I think because my job is to think outside the box. So I really want to continue to innovate and then bring menu items that hasn't existed on the menu before. And then also at the same time, I really want to continue to make sure that Panda is a brand that everybody loves and enjoys. So there's a little bit of both, right? There's a little bit of playing safe, but there at the same time, there's a little bit of being creative. Do you have any other activities you enjoy instead of c cooking? Any other activities? Um, Personally, I love basketball, so I actually play basketball quite a bit. Um, I also enjoy watching my son and my daughter um, fencing. Uh, they're part of a fencing team, and they're with a club, and I just really enjoy watching them being active up and down on a strip, and then uh, taking them to these competitions, and then I get to travel too. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you for your time.